Hi guys, Charles V here from Murphy's Multiverse and it is D23 that is currently happening over at LA and we have our Charles Murphy, our very own Charles Murphy over there doing his best, uh, giving us the latest news of whatever is happening at the Marvel Studios panel. But the thing is, we have so many things to talk about. Um, the Werewolf by Night trailer actually just dropped. This project has sort of been in the wind for quite a while. Um... For the longest time, we have not gotten any sort of news from this apart from the casting that Gal Garcia Bernal was playing the titular character. And we got rumors here and there about who's playing Elsa Bloodstone. We got rumors about Manthing possibly showing up. But we, we really haven't gotten any sort of real confirmation until today. And they dropped the poster. They announced the date, October 7th, which is like less than a month away. And they dropped a fucking trailer. So... We'd be crazy to not even talk about the trailer, but we're here to react to it. So let's do it. We have got to see what this what this thing actually looks like and if it's pretty cool. Let's see. I haven't seen anything about this. So, you know, this is completely fresh for me. So uh, let's see what's in this. Special presentation. So I'm guessing the Christmas special will be the same. Oh wow. The shock. Holy shit, it's in fucking black and white. Of werewolf by night. Whoa! Tonight, it is every hunter for themselves. Good luck. I'll be rotting for you. But one of you is a monster. Whoa! Yeah, she's playing Elsa Bloodstone, Laura Donnelly. I can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are. Yo, this is pretty fucking cool. Oh my god, like Grindhouse. Very puppy, very 70s, and very almost kind of campy. Holy shit. It look like Man Thing's hand. Oh my god, it's Man Thing. Holy fucking shit. Very. Damn. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm sur I'm surprised to see them actually commit fully to the black and white aesthetic and the grand house aspects of it. And it's kind of like almost, like I said, very campy, very over the top. It's a real throwback to, you know, the, the classic universal horror days. And Michael Giacchino, the director, who is a very prominent composer in the MCU. He also talked about how he looked at 30s and 40s horror movies to, to influence him, and you could definitely feel that here. I mean, people like to say that, that every latest MCU thing is like totally different from the thing that came before, but this one is literally, literally like, we have not seen anything like this in the MCU, quite literally and figuratively and everything else. And it looks pretty cool, almost kind of weird. I'm, I wonder if people are going to like this, if... You know, if, if 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 this is something that people would actually get by and s sort of support, um, it could be. I mean, the reason why this project has been low key could be because you know it's been it's very weird and very unusual. So, I mean, all in all, it's such a cool trailer. It's so unique and weird and bizarre, and it comes out less than a month, and I dig it. I dig how weird it is, even if it won't be good. Like, let's say it's sort of okay and not that incredible this incredible installment in the MCU, I think it would still stand on its own merits simply for being this totally unique thing. So, yeah, I dig this. I'm, I'm fucking into it. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, Let's see what's next here. And uh, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video because we have a lot to get through through this day. So, yeah. See ya.